God says, my dear child, someone wants to support you financially and knows about the struggles you have faced in the past, which is why they have made this decision. Watch this video till end to no person name. In life, there are moments when we find ourselves facing challenges and hardships that seem insurmountable. It is during these times that we may question our faith and wonder if there is anyone out there who truly understands our struggles. But in those moments of doubt and despair, we must remember that there is a higher power who cares for us, watches over us, and sends us blessings when we need them the most. Type 999 to claim God gift. The words are a reminder that we are not alone in this world, that we have a loving parent in God who sees our pain and suffering. These words offer comfort and reassurance, like a gentle embrace from a caring parent. They remind us that we are cherished and loved, no matter what challenges we face. The message continues with the revelation that someone wants to support us financially. This is a significant moment, as it signifies that God has orchestrated a plan to provide for our needs through the generosity of another person. This is a testament to the kindness and compassion that exists in the hearts of people who are willing to help those in need. The fact that this person knows about the struggles we have faced in the past is a powerful testament to the idea that God is aware of our past, present, and future. It shows that God has not forgotten the trials we have endured and the obstacles we have overcome. It is a reminder that our pain and suffering have not gone unnoticed and that there are people who empathize with our journey. The decision made by this individual to support us financially is a gesture of incredible kindness. It is a reminder that there is goodness in the world and that people are willing to extend a helping hand to alleviate the burdens of others. It is a manifestation of God's love and care, working through the hearts and actions of individuals who are willing to be instruments of His grace. As we reflect on this message from God, we are reminded of the importance of faith and trust. It is easy to become discouraged when faced with challenges, but we must remember that God has a plan for each of us. Even when we cannot see the path ahead, we must trust that God is guiding us towards a brighter future. The message also teaches us about the power of gratitude. When we receive help from others, it is important to express our gratitude and appreciation. If you want to attract huge money effortlessly, starting today, check link in comments below to know the shocking wealth secrets, revealed by rogue NASA scientist. It is a way of acknowledging the blessings that come our way and honoring the generosity of those who support us. Gratitude is a way of magnifying the goodness in our lives and attracting more blessings. This message from God serves as a reminder that we are never alone in our struggles. There are people who care about us, and there is a higher power who watches over us. It is a message of hope, love, and divine providence. It encourages us to have faith in the goodness of humanity and the grace of God. My dear child, someone wants to support you financially and knows about the struggles you have faced in the past, which is why they have made this decision, are a profound and comforting message from God. They remind us of the love and care that surrounds us, even in the darkest moments of our lives. They inspire us to have faith, express gratitude, and trust in the divine plan that is unfolding for us. God's message is a beacon of hope that shines brightly in our hearts, reminding us that we are never alone on this journey called life. God says, my dear child, I know exactly what is going to happen with you in the near future, and I am sure it will be an amazing experience. In life, uncertainty often looms large, and we find ourselves pondering what the future holds. It's during these moments of doubt and curiosity that we yearn for guidance and assurance. The message from God, my dear child, 
serves as a comforting reminder that we are not alone in this journey and that there is a higher power who knows us intimately. The phrase, my dear child, is a term of endearment, much like a parent addressing their beloved offspring. It carries a sense of love, protection, and care, reassuring us that we are cherished and watched over by a benevolent force. It reminds us that we are not just ordinary beings wandering through life's maze, but are children of the divine, with a purpose and a destiny. Type 444 if you agree. The message then takes a profound turn by stating that God knows exactly what is going to happen in our near future. This knowledge is awe-inspiring and humbling. It reminds us that God's perspective transcends time and space, and His wisdom encompasses all that is, was, and will be. It reinforces the belief that God is omniscient, knowing every intricate detail of our lives, including what lies ahead. The assurance that what awaits us in the near future will be an amazing experience is profoundly uplifting. It implies that God has orchestrated events and circumstances that will lead to something extraordinary. It fuels our hopes and dreams, making us anticipate the future with excitement and optimism. This message invites us to reflect on several key principles that can guide our outlook on life. Knowing that God has a plan for our future encourages us to place our trust in His wisdom. We can find solace in the fact that He is orchestrating events for our highest good, even when we cannot comprehend His divine design. While we may yearn to know the specifics of our future, this message reminds us that uncertainty can hold incredible beauty. Life's surprises, challenges, and unexpected blessings often lead to personal growth and transformation. Belief in a brighter future can be a powerful motivator. This message encourages us to cultivate faith, not only in ourselves, but in the divine plan that is unfolding. While the future is full of promise, we should not forget to live in the present moment. Every day is an opportunity to create memorable experiences, find joy in the ordinary, and make a positive impact on those around us. As we journey into the future, we can express gratitude for the guidance and assurance provided by this message from God. Gratitude amplifies our blessings and attracts more goodness into our lives. I know exactly what is going to happen with you in the near future, and I am sure it will be an amazing experience. Convey a profound message of hope, trust, and divine guidance. They remind us that we are cherished by a benevolent force, and they encourage us to embrace the mysteries of life with faith and anticipation. This message serves as a beacon of light in the darkness of uncertainty, illuminating our path and inspiring us to approach the future with a sense of wonder and excitement. God says, my dear child, they are acting because they are aware that you have experienced issues in the past. Life is a journey filled with ups and downs, and along the way, we encounter various challenges and difficulties. Sometimes, these struggles can weigh heavily on our shoulders, leaving us feeling overwhelmed and uncertain about the future. It is during these times that we may wonder if anyone truly understands our past experiences and the hurdles we've had to overcome. However, in these moments of doubt and reflection, we receive a comforting message from God that reassures us of His presence and the kindness of others. The words, my dear child, hold a deep sense of love and care, reminiscent of a parent addressing their beloved offspring. These words convey a message of compassion, reminding us that we are not alone in our journey. Instead, we are embraced by the divine, watched over by a benevolent force that cares deeply about our well-being. The message from God continues with the revelation that someone is taking action on our behalf, because they are aware of the issues we've faced in the past. This awareness is a testament to the fact that our struggles and challenges have not gone unnoticed. 
It signifies that there are individuals who empathize with our journey, who understand the hardships we've endured, and who are moved to make a positive difference in our lives. This act of kindness from another person is a powerful reminder of the goodness that resides in the hearts of people. It exemplifies the innate human desire to alleviate the burdens of others and to extend a helping hand to those in need. It is a manifestation of empathy and compassion, qualities that make our world a better place. The knowledge that someone is taking action on our behalf because of their awareness of our past issues provides a sense of hope and relief. It reassures us that our past struggles have not defined us or gone unnoticed. Instead, they have served as a catalyst for compassion and support from others. It reminds us that our past experiences, both positive and challenging, contribute to who we are today. Our past serves as a testament to our resilience and strength. Empathy is a powerful force that connects us as human beings. When others understand and empathize with our struggles, it can lead to acts of kindness and support. Support from others, whether it's emotional, financial, or practical, can have a transformative impact on our lives. It is a reminder that we do not have to face our challenges alone. In the face of such kindness, it is important to express gratitude and appreciation. Gratitude magnifies the goodness in our lives and strengthens the bonds between individuals. The message, my dear child, they are acting because they are aware that you have experienced issues in the past, is a profound expression of divine care and human compassion. It reminds us that our past struggles have not gone unnoticed, and there are individuals who are moved to take action to support us. This message serves as a beacon of hope, reinforcing the belief that kindness and empathy are powerful forces that can illuminate our path and provide solace in times of difficulty. It encourages us to appreciate the goodness in our lives and to remember that we are never truly alone in our journey. Type 2020 for Lord Blessings. God says, my dear child, they know this since they have witnessed your difficulties in the past. In life, we often encounter challenges and trials that test our strength and resilience. These moments of struggle are not meant to break us but to shape us into better versions of ourselves. When you face hardships, it may seem like the world is against you and the weight of your problems can be overwhelming. But remember, I am always with you, guiding you through the darkest of times. You are never alone in your journey. Throughout your life, you've experienced moments of despair and uncertainty. There were times when you questioned your abilities and felt like giving up. But every trial you've faced has only made you stronger. Each obstacle you've overcome has prepared you for what lies ahead. People around you have witnessed your struggles, and they know the depth of your determination. Your friends and family have seen you persevere through difficult situations, and they admire your courage. You've inspired others with your unwavering faith and resilience. It's important to understand that difficulties are a part of life's natural course. They are not punishments but opportunities for growth. When faced with adversity, you have the chance to learn, evolve, and become a more compassionate and understanding person. Think back to the times when you thought you couldn't go on, when the weight of your problems felt unbearable. But you did go on, and you emerged stronger on the other side. You've learned valuable lessons from your past struggles that have shaped you into the person you are today. It's also worth remembering that no one is exempt from challenges. Every individual, regardless of their background or circumstances, faces difficulties at some point. What sets you apart is your resilience and your ability to rise above adversity. You have the strength within you to overcome any obstacle that comes your way. Your past difficulties have not gone unnoticed. 
Your determination and perseverance have earned you respect and admiration from those who know you. They have seen your unwavering faith and your ability to find hope even in the darkest of moments. When you feel discouraged or overwhelmed by current challenges, reflect on your past experiences. Remember how you overcame obstacles that once seemed insurmountable. You possess the inner strength and resilience to face whatever comes your way. In times of doubt, turn to your faith and trust in the divine plan. I am always here, watching over you and guiding you along your path. Your faith in me has been a source of strength throughout your journey, and it will continue to sustain you. As you move forward in life, keep in mind that difficulties are not meant to defeat you but to refine you. They are the crucible in which your character is forged, and they prepare you for a brighter future. Your struggles have equipped you with the tools and wisdom needed to navigate the challenges that lie ahead. Your journey is a testament to your resilience and unwavering spirit. You have faced adversity with grace and courage, inspiring those around you to do the same. Your experiences have shown that even in the face of hardship, there is hope and a way forward. So, my dear child, take heart and have faith in yourself. Know that you are not defined by your difficulties but by your ability to overcome them. Your past challenges have prepared you for a future filled with hope and endless possibilities. In conclusion, remember that life's difficulties are not meant to break you but to mold you into a stronger and more compassionate individual. Your past struggles have been witnessed by those around you and they admire your resilience. Have faith in yourself and in the divine plan, for you are capable of overcoming any obstacle that comes your way. My dear child, you will undergo life-altering events during the following week and a half that you have never encountered before. Therefore, it is imperative that you prepare. Life often brings unexpected twists and turns, and in the upcoming days, you will face challenges and opportunities that will reshape your path. In the journey of life, there are moments when the familiar gives way to the unknown. These are the times when you are called to adapt, grow, and discover strengths you never knew you had. The next week and a half will be such a time for you. Change can be unsettling, and the prospect of facing the unknown may fill you with uncertainty. However, remember that I am always by your side, guiding you through every step of your journey. My love and support are unwavering, even in the face of life-altering events. As you prepare for the upcoming challenges, it's essential to maintain a sense of inner peace. Find moments of stillness and reflection to ground yourself. Connect with your faith and trust in the plan that I have for you. Your faith will serve as a source of strength and resilience. Type Amen if you want God blessings. Consider the lessons you've learned from past experiences. Each obstacle you've overcome and every trial you've faced has equipped you with wisdom and fortitude. Draw upon these lessons as you navigate the unfamiliar terrain ahead. Preparation also involves practical steps. Take time to plan and organize your affairs to the best of your ability. This will provide a sense of control and readiness as you move forward. Anticipate the challenges that may arise and formulate strategies to address them. Lean on the support of loved ones. Share your concerns and hopes with those who care about you. Their encouragement and advice can be invaluable during times of change. Together, you can face the upcoming life-altering events with greater resilience. Embrace a mindset of openness and adaptability. Life's twists and turns often lead to unexpected opportunities. Stay receptive to new possibilities that may emerge during this period. Sometimes, the most transformative moments come from unexpected sources. Remember that you possess the inner strength to navigate whatever comes your way. 
Your resilience has been tested in the past, and you have emerged stronger each time. Have confidence in your ability to overcome challenges and seize opportunities. Throughout this week and a half, keep your eyes open for signs and guidance. Sometimes, the universe offers subtle hints and messages that can illuminate your path. Trust your intuition and inner wisdom to discern these signs. As you embark on this transformative period, cultivate a sense of gratitude. Even in the face of uncertainty, there is always something to be thankful for. Gratitude can help you maintain a positive outlook and resilience in the face of change. Seek solace in prayer and meditation. These practices can provide clarity, inner peace, and a connection to the divine. In moments of quiet reflection, you may receive insights and guidance that will aid you on your journey. Know that you are not alone in this. Many have faced life-altering events and emerged from them stronger and wiser. Reach out to those who have experienced similar challenges and seek their wisdom and support. In times of doubt or fear, remind yourself that you are part of a greater plan. Your journey is a tapestry of experiences that lead to your growth and evolution. Trust that every event, no matter how life-altering, serves a purpose in your greater story. As you prepare for the upcoming week and a half, hold on to your faith and resilience. Your capacity for adaptation and growth is boundless. Embrace the uncertainty with courage and a hopeful heart, knowing that I am with you every step of the way. My dear child, as you face life-altering events in the coming days, remember that preparation involves inner strength, faith, practical planning, and openness to new possibilities. You have the resilience to overcome challenges and the capacity to embrace opportunities. Trust in the divine plan that guides your journey and know that you are never alone. God says, my dear child, what you have done wrong and what you have attempted and failed at in the past do not define who you are today. Life is a journey full of ups and downs. It's like a road with twists and turns. Sometimes we take the wrong turn. We make mistakes. But these mistakes are not who we are. They are lessons. Shout, bless me my Lord Jesus. You are not your past. Your past is like a shadow. It follows you, but it is not you. You are the person walking forward into the light. Every day is a new chance. A chance to be better. To learn from yesterday. Remember, everyone makes mistakes. Even the wisest people have erred. It's part of being human. But it's not all of you. It's just a small part. The bigger part is what you do after. How you rise. Think of a baby learning to walk. They fall many times. But they keep trying. They don't let falls define them. They focus on the goal, walking. You are like that baby. Your goal is to grow, to improve. Your failures are not permanent. They are temporary. Like a cloud passing in the sky. They come and they go. What remains is the sky. Your true self is like the sky, vast and unchanged by clouds. You have strengths. Focus on them. Your kindness. Your courage. Your love. These define you more than any mistake. They are your true nature. Embrace them. Let them shine. Learn from the past, but don't live in it. It's like a book. You can't keep reading the same page. You have to turn the page. See what's next. The next page is always new. Full of possibilities. Forgive yourself. It's important. Holding on to guilt is like carrying a heavy bag. It slows you down. Let it go. You'll feel lighter. You'll move forward faster. Your past has shaped you. 
But it's not your destiny. Your destiny is what you choose now. Every moment is a chance to choose. Choose kindness. Choose love. Choose growth. Look around. The world is full of stories. Stories of people who overcame. They had failures. But they didn't stop. They kept going. Their past didn't define them. Their courage did. Be like them. You are unique. There's no one else like you. Your journey is yours alone. Embrace it. With all its mistakes. They are part of the journey. But they are not the destination. Remember, change is possible. It's never too late. Every day the sun rises anew. It's a symbol of hope. A reminder that new beginnings are always possible. Your past failures, they were lessons. They taught you what not to do, what to do better. They were teachers. Thank them. Then move on. Your attempts, even the failed ones, show courage. It takes bravery to try. Celebrate that bravery. It's a sign of your spirit. A spirit that's willing to risk, to reach for more. You are more than your mistakes. You are a dreamer. A fighter. A believer. Hold on to that. It's precious. It's the essence of who you are. The past is gone. You can't change it. But the future? It's an open book. You hold the pen. Write a new story. A story of resilience. Of hope. Of triumph. Surround yourself with love. With people who see your true self. Who encourage you. Their belief in you helps. It strengthens you. It reminds you of who you really are. Be patient with yourself. Change takes time. It's like planting a seed. You won't see the flower immediately. But it's growing. With time, it will bloom. So will you. Believe in yourself. It's the key. When you believe, you find strength. Strength to move past the past. To create a new future. A future that reflects who you really are. Remember, you are loved. By God. By the universe. By people around you. That love is a powerful thing. It heals. It uplifts. It reminds you that you are valuable. Just as you are. Your failures? They were just steps. Steps on the journey to success. Every successful person has them. They are not signs of defeat. They are signs of trying. Of living. Of being brave. Your heart, your intentions, they matter. They show who you really are. Not the mistakes. But the intentions behind your actions. They are pure. They are good. Embrace today. It's a gift. That's why it's called the present. It's a chance to start fresh. To be who you want to be. To live the life you want to live. In this vast universe that I have created, filled with wonders and mysteries, know this, I, your God, am your ultimate provider and protector. My power and love for you are boundless, and within this love, I promise to provide for you supernaturally and protect you divinely. Understanding this promise can bring peace and assurance to your heart as you journey through life. I want you to know that my provision is not limited by earthly constraints. It transcends human understanding and circumstances. Whether it's your physical needs, emotional support, or spiritual nourishment, I am there to provide for you in ways that are beyond your imagination. When you face situations where your resources seem scarce and your path uncertain, remember that I am your provider. The same God who fed thousands with just a few loaves and fish, who provided manna from heaven, 
is the same God who watches over you and your needs. My protection over you is equally profound. In a world where dangers and fears loom, my divine protection is a shield that guards your life. This protection is not just physical, it extends to your mind and spirit, guarding you against the fears, doubts, and anxieties that can assail you. Remember, my child, that my ability to provide and protect does not depend on your strength, your wisdom, or your understanding. It is rooted in my infinite power and unchanging nature. I am the God who parted seas, calmed storms, and conquered death. There is nothing beyond my capability. In times of need, turn to me in prayer. Prayer is not just a ritual, it is a powerful connection between us. It is in these moments of heartfelt prayer that you can experience my supernatural provision and divine protection most intimately. However, it is essential to have faith and trust in my timing and methods. My ways of providing and protecting may not always align with your expectations or desires. Type 1010 if you love Jesus. Sometimes, what you perceive as denial or delay is actually my way of leading you to something better. I encourage you to cultivate a spirit of gratitude. In recognizing and appreciating the ways I have already provided and protected you, your faith is strengthened. This gratitude opens your eyes to see my hand at work in your life, even in the smallest details. As you walk through life, be assured that my love for you is constant and unwavering. This love is the foundation of my promise to you. It is a love that seeks your highest good, a love that will never fail or forsake you. In your journey, you will encounter various challenges and obstacles. These are not signs of my absence, but opportunities for you to experience my provision and protection in deeper ways. In every challenge, there is a hidden blessing, a chance to witness my power at work in your life. Remember the stories of faith from those who walked before you. Their testimonies of my provision and protection are not mere tales of old. They are reminders of my unchanging nature and faithfulness. Just as I was with them, so I am with you. Do not be swayed by the voices of doubt and fear that may echo around you. Stand firm in your faith, knowing that your God is greater than any challenge you may face. My power and love are your ever-present support and defense. In moments of uncertainty, look beyond your circumstances and fix your eyes on me. I am your rock, your fortress, and your deliverer. In me, you will find the strength and peace to face whatever comes your way. Be a beacon of hope and faith to those around you. As you experience my supernatural provision and divine protection, share these experiences with others. Your testimony can encourage and uplift those who are struggling with doubt and fear. Rest in the assurance that no matter what you face in this life, you are never alone. I am always with you, providing for you in miraculous ways and protecting you with my divine power. This is your season of restoration. These words, spoken by God, hold profound significance for anyone who hears them. In just nine words, a message of hope, renewal, and divine intervention is conveyed. The address carries a sense of personal connection and love. It signifies that the speaker, God, views the recipient with affection and care. This phrase establishes a comforting tone, assuring the individual that they are not alone. The central theme of the message, this is your season of restoration, is both powerful and comforting. It suggests that whatever may have been lost or broken in the past is now poised to be repaired, renewed, and rejuvenated. The word season implies a divine timing, emphasizing that this restoration is not random but part of God's plan. Restoration itself is a profound concept. 
It implies not just a return to a previous state, but a transformation into something better than before. It's the idea that God can take what's been damaged, broken, or lost and make it whole again. This can encompass physical, emotional, or spiritual restoration, depending on the individual's needs. The phrase, your season, emphasizes personalization. It's not a generic promise, but a specific declaration tailored to the individual receiving it. Each person's journey is unique, and God is affirming that this particular time is designated for their restoration. Now, let's delve into the idea of seasons. In nature, seasons bring change. They mark transitions from one state to another. Spring is a season of growth, summer of abundance, autumn of harvest, and winter of rest. Likewise, a season of restoration signifies a shift from a period of trial or difficulty to one of healing and growth. Throughout life, there are moments when we feel broken or lost. These could be due to personal failures, external circumstances, or even spiritual struggles. In such times, we may wonder if there's hope for recovery. God's message offers a resounding yes. It reminds us that just as nature cycles through seasons, so does our life. The difficult seasons will pass, making way for restoration. Type 777 to receive it. But how does one embrace this season of restoration? It requires faith, faith in God's promise and his ability to bring about change. It involves surrendering our doubts and fears and trusting that God's plan for restoration is greater than our own. It means seeking guidance through prayer and scripture, drawing strength from the teachings and wisdom found in the Bible. Moreover, restoration often involves forgiveness. Forgiving others who may have caused harm or forgiving oneself for past mistakes is an integral part of the process. It's a way of releasing the burden that holds us back from experiencing the fullness of God's restoration. In practical terms, restoration can manifest in various aspects of life. For some, it might mean physical healing, recovering from illness or injury. For others, it could be the restoration of broken relationships, bringing reconciliation and harmony to their lives. In the realm of spirituality, it might involve finding one's faith anew or deepening their connection with God. The concept of seasons in the message also reminds us of the cyclical nature of life. Just as winter yields to spring, our struggles can give way to hope and growth. It's a reminder that our hardships, though challenging, are temporary. God's promise of restoration encourages us to hold on, for brighter days are ahead. Another crucial aspect of the message is the word is. It signifies that this season of restoration is not a future possibility but a present reality. God is declaring that restoration is happening now. It's an invitation to recognize and embrace the restoration process already underway. The word of this in the message refers to the current moment. It's an affirmation that regardless of what has happened in the past or what might happen in the future, the present is a season of restoration. It urges us not to dwell on past mistakes or anxieties about the future but to focus on the here and now. In essence, God's message encapsulates the timeless truth that He is a God of restoration. Throughout the Bible, we find stories of individuals and nations experiencing restoration after periods of hardship. These stories serve as testimonies to God's faithfulness and His ability to bring about transformation. This is your season of restoration is a message of hope, love, and faith. It reassures us that God is intimately involved in our lives, and He is committed to restoring us in every way. It calls us to trust in His timing, to have faith in His power, and to embrace the present moment as a season of renewal. 
Ultimately, it is a message of profound grace and divine promise that can bring comfort and encouragement to anyone who receives it. God says, my dear child, God is ready to return everything that the enemy has snatched from you, peace, prosperity, and purpose included. This powerful declaration from God offers a message of hope, restoration, and divine intervention. In just 24 words, it encapsulates a profound promise that resonates with anyone who has experienced loss or adversity. The address, my dear child, conveys a sense of personal connection and love. It signifies that the speaker, God, views the recipient with affection and care. This phrase establishes a comforting tone, assuring the individual that they are not alone in their struggles. The central theme of the message revolves around restoration and reclamation. It states that God is prepared to return everything that has been taken by the enemy. This includes three fundamental elements, peace, prosperity, and purpose. Firstly, the mention of peace is significant. In life, peace is often disrupted by external factors or internal turmoil. The enemy, in this context, represents those forces or circumstances that have caused unrest or distress. God's promise to return peace signifies his ability to calm the storms in our lives, offering a sense of tranquility and well-being. Secondly, prosperity is a term that encompasses not only financial abundance but also success and flourishing in various aspects of life. The enemy can strip individuals of their prosperity through setbacks, challenges, or unjust circumstances. God's declaration assures that he is ready to restore and bless us with abundance. Purpose holds profound significance in our lives. It refers to our sense of direction, fulfillment, and the realization of our unique calling or mission. The enemy can rob us of our purpose by sowing doubt, confusion, or discouragement. God's promise to return purpose signifies his intention to guide us back to our true calling and destiny. The word already in the message implies a sense of urgency and eagerness on God's part. It suggests that he is not passive but actively seeking to restore what has been lost. Type 1717 if you needed this. This readiness conveys God's deep desire for our well-being and his commitment to our restoration. The concept of restoration itself is a testament to God's grace and power. It signifies not merely a return to a previous state but a transformation into something better. God can take what has been stolen or broken and make it whole again, often in ways that exceed our expectations. The mention of the enemy reminds us that there are forces, both spiritual and worldly, that can work against us. These forces may take the form of personal challenges, adversities, or even negative influences. God's promise reassures us that no matter what the enemy has done, his divine intervention can reverse the damage. In practical terms, experiencing the return of what the enemy has taken requires faith and trust. It involves recognizing God's sovereignty and his ability to overcome all obstacles. It means turning to him in prayer, seeking guidance, and surrendering our worries and fears. Forgiveness also plays a significant role in this process. Often, the enemy includes individuals who have wronged us. Forgiving them is a crucial step in releasing the grip of past hurts and allowing God to work his restoration in our lives. Moreover, the message emphasizes God's generosity. He doesn't merely intend to return what was lost but to bless us abundantly. It's a reminder that God's plans for us are not limited by our past experiences, rather, they are filled with His grace and goodness. The promise in this message aligns with the biblical concept of restoration found throughout the scriptures. In the Bible, 
There are numerous stories of individuals and nations experiencing restoration after periods of suffering or loss. These stories serve as a testament to God's faithfulness and His ability to bring about redemption. God is ready to return everything that the enemy has snatched from you, peace, prosperity, and purpose included, offers a profound message of hope and assurance. It reminds us that God is not only aware of our struggles, but is actively working to restore what has been taken from us. This message encourages us to place our trust in His plan, to seek His guidance, and to embrace the promise of a future filled with peace, prosperity, and purpose. It is a declaration of God's unwavering love and His commitment to bringing about restoration in our lives. God says, My dear child, even though we are back together, you will always hold a particular place in my heart for the reasons I have already forgiven you. Forgiveness is a bridge. A bridge that connects hearts. When we forgive, we cross that bridge. We come closer to each other. Closer to understanding. Closer to love. Type 2121 if you believe in God timing. You are special. Unique in every way. Even your mistakes. They are part of you. But they don't define you. They are steps in your journey. Steps towards growth. Towards wisdom. I have forgiven you. Not because your mistakes were small. But because my love is big. Bigger than any mistake, it's a love that sees beyond. Beyond faults. Beyond the past. In my heart, there's a place for you. A place of honor. Not because you're perfect, but because you're human flawed, yet beautiful. Struggling, yet striving. Falling, yet rising. This place in my heart, it's a reminder. A reminder of grace. Of second chances, it's there to tell you that no matter what, you're loved. Loved unconditionally. Loved completely. Our journey together has had its ups and downs. But every step has been important. Every step has brought us here. To a place of understanding. Of acceptance. Of reunion. Remember, everyone makes mistakes. But not everyone learns from them. You have. That's what makes you special. That's what puts you in that special place in my heart. Your mistakes, they were not just errors. They were lessons. Hard lessons, sometimes. But necessary. They taught you. They molded you. They made you who you are today. In this world, nothing is wasted. Not even our mistakes. They serve a purpose. They lead us to self-discovery to growth, to a deeper understanding of life, of ourselves. Forgiveness is not just about the past. It's about the future. It's about moving forward, together, with a clean slate, with hope, with a renewed sense of purpose. You might wonder, why forgive? It's because forgiveness heals. It frees us. It frees you from guilt. It frees me from anger. It brings peace. A peace that's precious. This special place in my heart, it's not just a memory. It's a living space. It grows. It evolves. As you grow. As you evolve. It's dynamic, just like our relationship. In life, you will face many challenges. But remember, you're not alone. You have me. You have this special place in my heart. It's a sanctuary. A place of refuge. Your journey is not defined by your falls. It's defined by how you rise. And you have risen. With dignity. With courage. With a willingness to make things right. The bond we share, it's strengthened by forgiveness. 
It's a bond that can withstand storms. It's resilient. It's enduring. It's built on something deeper than mere perfection. In this special place in my heart, there's no judgment. Only love. Only understanding. Only an unwavering belief in your potential. In your goodness. In your worth. You are more than your past actions. You are a soul on a journey. A journey towards enlightenment. Towards love. Towards becoming the best version of yourself. This forgiveness, it's a gift. A gift of freedom. Freedom to be yourself. To explore. To make new choices. To write a new story. A story of redemption. Of hope. In forgiving, I'm not saying what happened was okay. I'm saying you're more important than what happened. You're more important than any mistake. You're invaluable. Irreplaceable. Life is about learning. About growing. You've done both. That's why you hold this special place. It's a place of honor. A testament to your resilience. To your capacity to change. Forgiveness is like a seed. When planted, it grows into something beautiful. Something strong. Something enduring. Our relationship is like that. Grown from the seed of forgiveness. Every day, you have a choice. A choice to be better. To do better. To live better. And every day, I'm here. Cheering for you. Believing in you. Loving you. This special place in my heart, it's eternal. It's not affected by time. By distance. By circumstances. It's a constant. A beacon. A reminder of what we've overcome. Of what we can achieve. So, my dear child, walk forward. With confidence. With faith. With the knowledge that you are forgiven. That you are loved. That you have a special place in my heart. Forever. God says, my dear child, I consider myself to be the type of somebody that enjoys making a fresh start in life. A fresh start is like a new sunrise. It brings new light. New hope. It's a chance to begin again. To see the world with fresh eyes. To leave the past behind. Type 888 if you believe in angels. Life is full of fresh starts. Each day is a new one. A blank page. You can write anything on it. You can be anyone. Do anything. It's a gift. A precious gift. Remember, it's never too late. No matter how old you are. No matter what you've done. You can always start fresh. You can always turn a new leaf. Fresh starts are about forgiveness. Forgiving yourself. Forgiving others. It's about letting go of what was. Embracing what can be. It's about freedom. The freedom to change. Change is a part of life. It's natural. It's necessary. Embrace it. Welcome it. It's the path to growth. To learning. To becoming better. Stronger. Wiser. Every fresh start brings new opportunities. Opportunities to learn. To grow. To explore. To experience. To love. To live fully. To be truly alive. Don't be afraid to start over. It's not a sign of failure. It's a sign of courage. It takes bravery to begin anew. To leave the comfort of the familiar. To venture into the unknown. In every ending, there's a beginning. In every goodbye, there's a hello. Life is a cycle. A cycle of endings and beginnings. Of death and rebirth. Embrace the cycle. It's beautiful. 
A fresh start is a chance to reinvent yourself. To be the person you've always wanted to be. To live the life you've always dreamed of. It's a chance to make your dreams a reality. It's okay to be scared. New beginnings can be frightening. But they can also be exciting. Full of potential. Full of promise. Face the fear. Embrace the excitement. Let go of the past. It's done. It's over. You can't change it. But you can learn from it. You can use it as a stepping stone. A foundation for your new beginning. Think of a butterfly. It starts as a caterpillar. Then it becomes a cocoon. Then it emerges. Beautiful. Transformed. Every stage is necessary. Every stage is part of the journey. Your past experiences, they're valuable. They've taught you. They've shaped you. But they're not your future. Your future is unwritten. It's waiting for you to write it. In a fresh start, there's a sense of adventure. Of discovery. It's a journey. A journey into yourself. Into the world. It's an adventure of the soul. Be bold. Be brave. Be daring. Take risks. Try new things. Meet new people. Go new places. Life is an adventure. Live it fully. Live it bravely. A fresh start is a chance to heal. To mend what's broken. To soothe what's hurt. It's a chance to become whole. To find peace. To find joy. To find yourself. You are not your past. You are not your mistakes. You are not your failures. You are you. Unique. Beautiful. Capable of amazing things. Never forget that. Every moment is a chance to start fresh. Every moment is a new beginning. Seize it. Embrace it. Make the most of it. It's a precious opportunity. Don't waste it. In every fresh start, there's hope. Hope for a better tomorrow. Hope for a brighter future. Hope for a happier you. Hold on to that hope. It's a powerful thing. Remember, you're not alone. I'm with you. Every step of the way. In every new beginning. In every fresh start. I'm there. Guiding you. Supporting you. Loving you. So, my dear child, go forth. Start fresh. Embrace the new. Leave the old behind. Look forward with hope. With excitement. With anticipation. Your best days are ahead of you. God says, my dear child, no matter how far you may have strayed from the road we once traveled, you can be sure that I will always be there to greet you back with open arms. Life is a journey. A long road with many turns. Sometimes you may lose your way. You might stray off the path. But remember, it's never too late to come back. Type Amen if you love God Jesus. I am always here. Waiting. Watching. Hoping. My arms are always open. Ready to welcome you back. No matter how far you've gone. No matter how long it's been. You are never too far gone. No distance is too great. No time is too long. My love reaches everywhere. It knows no bounds. It's endless. It's unconditional. The road may be tough. It may be winding. You might feel lost. You might feel alone. But you're not. I'm here. I've always been here. I always will be. Coming back might seem hard. You might feel scared. You might feel ashamed. But don't be. My love is greater than your fears. Greater than your mistakes. 
Every step you take towards me is a step of courage, a step of faith, a step of hope. With each step, you're closer, closer to love, closer to home. Your journey is unique. It's yours alone, but I am with you every step of the way, guiding you, supporting you, loving you, always. Mistakes are part of the journey. They're how you learn, how you grow. They're not failures. They're lessons. Important ones. Valuable ones. You might think you're unworthy. Unworthy of love. Unworthy of forgiveness. But that's not true. You are worthy. You've always been worthy. You always will be. Your past doesn't define you. It's just a part of your story. A chapter. Not the whole book. Your story is still being written. And there's so much more to come. You have a place with me. A special place. Reserved just for you. It's always been yours. It always will be. No one can take it away. No matter how far you stray, my light is always shining. Shining to guide you back. To show you the way. It's a beacon of hope. A symbol of love. Remember, you're not alone. Others have strayed, too. They've found their way back. You can, too. It's possible. It's within reach. You just have to take the first step. That first step might be the hardest. But it's the most important. It's a step of bravery. A step towards a new beginning. A fresh start. A brighter future. I'm not just waiting for you. I'm reaching out to you. Calling you. Whispering to you. In the wind. In the sun. In the stars. Listen. You'll hear my call. You might feel broken. But in my eyes, you're beautiful. You're a masterpiece. A work in progress. And I love every part of you. Every piece. There's no judgment here. Only love. Only acceptance. Only grace. Come as you are. With all your flaws. With all your scars. You're perfect to me. Your journey back might be long. It might be challenging. But it's worth it. Every step brings you closer. Closer to peace. Closer to joy. Closer to me. In my arms, there's safety. There's comfort. There's peace. It's a place of rest. A place of healing. A place of love. It's waiting for you. Don't worry about the time lost. Focus on the time ahead. It's a gift. A precious one. Use it well. Live it fully. Live it with love. Your story is not over. It's just beginning. There's so much more to come. So many more chapters to write. And I'll be with you. Every step of the way. So, my dear child, come back. Take that step. I'm here. With open arms. With a loving heart. Waiting to welcome you back. Waiting to start anew. Together. God says, my dear child, you are aware that this is dependable. Dependability is like a solid rock. It's firm. It's steady. It's something you can always count on. In a world of change, it's a constant. Life is full of uncertainties. But some things are dependable. Like the sunrise. Like the seasons. Like my love for you. Always there. Always constant. You can depend on the fact that you're never alone. I'm always with you. In your heart in your soul, guiding you, supporting you, loving you, 
Dependability is a promise. A promise that's unbreakable. It's a commitment. A commitment to be there. Always. In good times. In bad times. In all times. In life, you'll face challenges. But remember, you can depend on your inner strength. It's there. Inside you. Waiting to be tapped. Strong. Resilient. Powerful. Friends may come and go. Situations may change. But my presence in your life is dependable. Unchanging. Everlasting. It's a source of comfort. Of strength. Of peace. You can depend on the fact that you're loved. Loved deeply. Loved truly. Loved without condition. This love is a foundation. A foundation you can build on. Type 1616 to claim it. Every day is a new opportunity. An opportunity to grow. To learn. To love. This is dependable. It's a part of life. A part of your journey. Mistakes happen. They're a part of being human. But you can depend on the fact that they're not the end. They're a chance to learn. To improve. To do better next time. Change is inevitable. But you can depend on your ability to adapt. To overcome. To thrive. You're more flexible than you think. More adaptable. More capable. You can depend on the power of hope. Hope keeps you going. It lights up the darkest paths. It gives strength when you're weak. It's a powerful ally. Trust in the power of prayer. It's dependable it connects you to me. To your inner self. To a deeper understanding. It's a source of guidance. Of comfort. Of peace. Your values, your principles, they're dependable. They guide you. They shape your actions. They define your character. Hold on to them. They're precious. You can depend on the fact that every end is a new beginning. A chance to start fresh. To write a new chapter. To create a new story. It's a cycle. A beautiful cycle. The beauty of nature is dependable. It's always there. In the flowers. In the trees. In the sky. It's a reminder of life's beauty. Of its continuity. Of its wonder. You can depend on the fact that you have a purpose. A unique purpose. You're here for a reason. To make a difference. To touch lives. To leave a mark. Your dreams, your aspirations, they're dependable. They drive you. They inspire you. They push you forward. Keep dreaming. Keep aspiring. They're pathways to your destiny. You can depend on the power of forgiveness. It heals. It restores. It frees. Forgive yourself. Forgive others. It's a gift. A precious gift. To yourself. To the world. Remember, in times of doubt, you can depend on faith. Faith is like a guiding star. It leads you. It reassures you. It strengthens you. You can depend on the fact that every effort counts. Every step forward. Every attempt. Even if they don't succeed. They matter. They contribute. They add up. The journey of life is unpredictable. But you can depend on its richness. Its diversity. Its ability to surprise. To teach. To mold. Embrace it. It's a beautiful journey. You can depend on your capacity to love. To give love. To receive love. To spread love. Love is a fundamental force. 
It's powerful. It's transformative. It's dependable. So, my dear child, remember these dependable truths. They're pillars. Pillars you can lean on. Pillars you can build on. They're constants in a changing world. Hold on to them. Cherish them. Depend on them. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more content like this. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so you're notified whenever we post a new video. Until next time, take care, and we'll see you in the next one.